Today, I would like to talk about one of the scarcest commodities in global health. I do not mean money. Money by itself is not enough. It's how it's spent and where and when. The commodity I'm talking about is political will. We often say that we know what to do and how to do it if only there was political will. It's the biggest deficit we face. Health is a human right, a fundamental human right. There has never been a better opportunity to work together to transform the health of billions of people. Our failure to invest in health systems doesn't only leave individuals, families, and communities at risk, it also leaves the world vulnerable to outbreaks and other health emergencies. Health systems and health security are two sides of the same coin. The recent report of the Global Preparedness Monitoring Board shows that the world remains dangerously unprepared for the next global pandemic. It's frankly difficult to understand why countries would invest so heavily in protecting their people from terrorist attacks, but not against the attack of a virus, which could be far more deadly and far more damaging economically and socially. A pandemic could bring economies and nations to their knees, which is why health security cannot be a matter for the health ministry alone. There is simply no better investment in health than primary health care. It's the smartest investment. That's why WHO is calling on all countries to increase spending on primary health care by 1% of GDP by 2030, either through new investments, reallocation, or both. Globally, we need a radical reorientation of our health systems towards promoting health and preventing diseases, not simply managing them in hospitals. To do that, we need to address the reasons people get sick and die. In the air we breathe, the food we eat, the water we drink, and the conditions in which we live, work and play. We can agree on this. Health is not a privilege for the few. It's a right for everyone, everywhere. Our job as politicians and as leaders is to defend that right every day and to make it our life's work to see it realized. All roads lead to universal health coverage. If we believe in health for all, we can make it happen. Thank you very much. Feel and thank you.